What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Mountain Goat Soap Review. Pay no attention to the dryer going on in the background. Let's pop right into this review. We have we have Mountain Goat Soap here, Barbershop Edition, and I'm pumped, I'm excited to try this. So I think in the past year and a half, I've tried, actually the past year, I've tried six different bars that are barbershop scented. Uh, five of them I've actually posted the reviews on. Number six is this one I just got last week. I haven't posted the review yet, but I did try it. So this makes that number seven right here. And I'm pretty excited for this. I love a good barbershop scent. There's nothing better than going in a barbershop, just super relaxing and the scent is something that's very hard to replicate. So let's see how this goes. We are featuring here bergamot, amber, lavender, and musk. And for ingredients, we have saponified oils, shea butter, goat's milk, kaolin clay, tasa silk, essential oils, fragrance, and mineral pigments. There it is one more time. Now that would make this a zero grit bar. I'm pretty sure there's no exfoliants in here. Nothing that indicates otherwise. Here's the bar and it does have a nice little like red, white, and blue. I notice a lot of the barbershop bars kind of have the either like a, a red and blue or red, white, and blue. And I'm guessing that's because of like the little barbershop like poles that are on the outside of the classic old ones that are spinning with like the blue and the red and the white. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So, like I was saying, the first one I ever tried was Valhalla's. Valhalla's America Barbershop was the first one I tried, along with the Art of Soap. And <clears throat> Valhalla's I liked better. I thought it just had a higher quality, more natural scent to it. Art of Soap was a little bit more on the synthetic side. But I did think, I did think that both of those scents were closer to a, a shaving gel, almost like a Gillette shaving gel scent. Um, and then like a very fresh, clean, cool scent almost. And then after that, I tried the Lather Barbershop, which was my favorite barbershop scent out of all of them. It just had that very strong talc powder. I know they've, like, I know they upgraded the scent a little bit, but it had a very strong talc powder scent and it just smelled amazing. And I also tried the Sudsy Bear, barbershop scent which at first i wasn't so sure about but after trying it it really did have like a nice old school shaving cream scent a little bit of like floral mixed in there but it really had a nice scent to it and then i tried this also i haven't posted yet but i did try the bar soap version of this and that's the sterling soap company barbershop scent and i would say that's also closer to the category of closer to the category of Sudsy Bear. It does have like a powdery scent to it, but there's a little old school like shaving cream with the, the floral and the other scents in there. So that's kind of how I categorize, categorize them. Uh, anyway, also the Hoffman's one, which I haven't posted yet, but I did try it. That one is probably more of a powdery one closer to lather. I don't know. They all have similarities and they all have differences. So let's try this. Okay. <clears throat> it smells good. This definitely feels like it's more similar to the Valhalla barbershop scent than the rest of them. I would put this in the category of the Art of Soap, Valhalla, it has like a shaving gel scent to it, I think. Very fresh, very cool. You know, the lavender, the musk, the bergamot. Definitely, I think it falls in that category of more of like a, bon a modern barbershop scent. I wouldn't say it's heavy on the talc and I wouldn't say it's like a thick old school shaving cream. I would say it's more of a modern day barbershop scent, which is nice. It's nice to have the variety between the different bars. So I'm happy that different companies have you know, uniqueness in their barbershop scents. And that's kind of where I would place this one. It is pretty nice though. It's a good scent. I would say overall, my favorite is probably still either Lather or Sterling for the barbershop scent, but I haven't really disliked any of them yet. So this is another good one. And I know the performance is gonna be really good with that goat's milk. So 
Let me know what you guys think. Talk to me in the comments. Recommend some stuff to me. And we'll see you next time.